Hello guys, Snapdraiser once again, and this video is going to be a sort of a mixed variety. So what I mean by that? Well, this is going to be about part FAQ about myself, so a little bit myself, but also giving my thoughts on the Ari Gamer, and also a follow-up on the follow-up on the video that I did about Pew Pew Die, and of course, before that, c calling out Pew Pew Die and Total Biscuit. And you kind of hear, you kind of thinking, wow, what does that have to do with this particular video? Well, they have something in related, but you can, but that'll be later. But you'll understand that once I talk about it. So basically, the first part of this video is that I want to give an FAQ about just about myself, me, whether it's not waste one or the real or real me, Lewis. And again, a policy rule of mine is a common thing, just like Mega Sex One or any other. I don't talk about personal issue, personal life on the internet, on YouTube, social site, or whatever. The only time I'm probably sort of going to talk about a bit of personal myself or about myself. If it's related to the internet, YouTube, or anything, so what I mean, what do I mean by that? Well, uh, fortunately, again, it, it's a little bit per not sort of personal, here, but it's just a little, not really, like you say, just a like sort of a sort of a bad, a little bit of bad of situation, but again, not a big deal, but a little bad. Um, one, of, I'm not. I'm gonna try this to be basic the best I can because I don't want to involve a lot of people about it because it's all about me, not the other people. So anyway, uh, in a basically in a social site, someone basically was concerned about a situation because apparently some that somebody I'm a, like I'm a fan of I sort of called him out on it, and this person basically was kind of concerned because he doesn't, this person doesn't know, like, do you have a grudge with this person, you're criticizing this person, or what's going on, is there hatred, and when I basically read a message about it, I'm like, wait, did I just attack someone, and... This is where I'm going to talk about a little bit myself, an FAQ about myself. Okay, just like the yeah, game has its own policy about basically not getting involved with the drama. I mean, heck, even AVGN, or let's just say Chris Bohr and James, they do have a policy rule of not to get involved in the drama, rather to get out of drama. So that's like a policy that they follow. Well, one is for safety reason. <laughs> So same here. So first of all, here's my, I guess, policy rule about when I do YouTube or anything on the internet or related also to social media site. One, I don't attack people as a person or in a personal level. So because first of all, I never met him in real life, so I can't really give their pay my payment. I remember the video I did. So, I don't, I can't attack them. Like, what they do in their personal life is their own business. It has, to some extent, it has nothing to do with me, unless it affects me personally. So, if by somehow, mysteriously, I did call out someone, that's not, it's not going to be in a personal level, because I don't attack people on a personal level. Second, I don't attack them either on a business level, unless that person does something really offensive that it's sort of in a business level, or as what they do, become personal, then I might, chances are I might call them out on them. Uh, case in point basically here that becomes a personal issue was at this long time ago was when Sonic for for the download basically they viewed there was a Sonic fan 
And some of you are probably gonna know this person. I'm not gonna give names name for safety reason. But this person basically was a let's just say an Uber fan of the Sonic franchise and he didn't like Sonic Part four. And when people trying to basically do a civilized professional co- argument when push got to shove this person basically just said you guys were drinking the well he basically just in the gist of it he basically just called everyone whoever likes Sonic 4 an idiot and basically threw away all the argument that they did that's when when in a business level or what they do or what they're known for becomes personal because you just basically attack your fans, you attack your friends, etc., etc. That's an personal issue, and if that ever happened in, for me, <coughs> excuse me, if, if that ever happened to me in a in a situation, I mean, then chances are I might be, I might attack them, but either that. Like I said, whether as a person or personal level, what they do, or in the business level, I don't attack anyone. If I don't like that person to some extent, chances are I'm just going to ignore that person, I'm not going to acknowledge that person, and I'll be stop supporting that person. That's it. I'm not going to basically attack them. I may call them out to be critical, to criticize them, to improve because if you support them but if I don't support someone I just don't acknowledge them I don't want to give I don't want to give my time basically expo- giving them more time so more people will know about that person because that's basically what you if you don't want people to know about it and you don't want to support it the best solution is you don't talk about it same goes with a Kickstarter complaining about the Kickstarter basically you're talking about it so more people are going to come not a good idea so that's basically one of my policy is that I don't attack anyone in a personal level, and I don't really attack them in a business level if I don't like that person for whatsoever reason. I might basically just call them out on it, criticize them, but then when push gets to shove, I'm going to say, you know what, I'm not going to support you, I'm not going to acknowledge you, I'm moving on. Because basically, like I said about the social, I apparently somehow someone basically was asking me that I apparently I called someone or I called them out that they have some sort of quote unquote an ego and that was a little bit concerning and I mean there's two ways that this can happen either one is I probably did say something like that I just don't remember it but even if I like if I did say something about it Chances are I'm probably addressing of what they do on the internet. Maybe I was probably frustrated and how the direction was going. I just didn't like it, and I was concerned about it. That I want them to want them to improve, and it basically give them a sort of a heat of warning. Because if I really don't say anything about it and they just keep continuing, sooner or later what's going to probably happen and say, wow, why am I listening to these people or why am I supporting them if I have nothing in common with them and I just don't like what they're doing, I'll just leave. <laughs> so if I basically called, I guess, someone an ego, chances are I probably was talking about it, what they do on the internet, not in a personal level because to some extent I have said something so sort of like it's in the likes of oh you have an ego because it was a concern because you're getting cocky again another example for that is James Rolfe when he was doing the movie when he did an Indiegogo he was doing his independent movie which I have no problem with the movie I never seen it but I heard it was mixed reaction different story but with the time when he was basically on the on the face of trying to do the movie, he did, he sounded, and he did act a little bit cocky, because he was so proud, that, oh my gosh, thanks to my fans, I made a lot of money, for the Indiegogo, now we can do it fully, 
no, we can do this ourselves, the movie, without an investor. And again, well, what he does with the money, that's his opinion. And if people support him, hey, you know, that's their decision. No one, no one forced them to do it. They support the guy, they say, you know, let's support this guy all the way. There you go. But the concern was there was, and Mr. Winnie Production did explain this, and even Archfin, and to some extent, AC Lieri, those three who used to be HVG and fan, were concerned. They said, wow, why are you acting this way ever since you're making the movie? That's basically what I'm trying to say. If I'm calling someone out, it's because it's basically sort of a danger that you're getting cocky because you're getting too popular and I did talk about this before in my previous video you can see them on my secondary channel about it so there you go so one again oh I forgot okay so that's the one that that's basically one of the possibilities the second one is this happened in a social media site so there have been a lot of reports about people hacking someone's uh, account and then basically pretending to be that person and then doing something and then you don't really find out until it's too late so I'm going to tell you right now again if that I mean if that is the situation first of all that's bad but second is you really need to I mean my, my close friend knows me because they know me since I, I made real friends but in the internet, basically, just you gotta have to see like how I comment, how I talk, how do I interact in the video. That's when you get your information. So again, if if I say something really that's an anomaly, chances are that's not me. Somebody's, I guess, hacking or something. So I mean, that's a dangerous thing. That's a very dangerous territory there. That's scary. So that could be the second possibility. So that's one or the other. Either. I was addressing it in a professional level, business level, basically talking about someone. Or the second option basically was that it someone hacked someone, trying to ruin that someone's reputation, which is very dangerous. You gotta be careful with that one. Because again, like I said before, I'm already saying again, my policy rule is, one, is that if I do sort of called someone which I like I said I don't I don't attack them personally and I don't, and then what they do I don't attack them I don't say you person you suck go blah 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 basically hatred I don't do that that I basically gonna criticize someone and if I don't like what you're doing when push cut to shove I'm just gonna move on I'm just not gonna support you so that's really it <laughs> So that is when the policy for me is that bottom line is I don't attack people. If I don't like them, I just move on. I ignore them. And if it's a concern, I criticize that person or what they do. So there you go. 